Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Thursday, July 29th, 2021. This is day three of our shop hop excursion. Heritage Design, Quilting, and Needlework. We just came up here so we can give you a photo or a shot of the actual shop design. What location are we in? Amana Colonies. Amana Colonies, okay. Because I didn't look this one up. Kevin's the driver today. Starting out anyway, we'll see how much travel we have to do. But we're gonna enter through the back parking lot here and uh, we'll go inside and see what these cook shop have to offer trying to make sure I don't stumble on any rocks here <laughs> <laughs> any of the gravel and this is the entrance door so I'll see you later so we just left our first quilt shop and we've arrived at our second one. The first quilt shop, I could have bought everything in there. It was a really good shop. It was family owned, three generation quilt shop. Um, I just bought a couple of patterns because I'm just trying not to buy fabric. So they had a lot of fabrics and a lot of patterns. They had some, uh, they sold uh, Alexanderson rulers, which we got to experience that it was really cool as well. So now we are at Fern Hill Gifts and Quilts in South Amana. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go in and see what this place actually looks like. Um, I'm doing video. Kevin's taking photos. So hopefully we'll do a combination of both. So let's see what this one is. And we'll meet you at the next quilt shop. So cute. Hi, we are at the next quilt shop. We did see a really fancy sign two miles down the road telling us that we were here. And we also have a friend out that I wouldn't have gotten out of my car. He was nice and taking a nap out here and now he's getting love from Kevin. So we also have... Hi, baby. That's a good baby. It's a good baby. Well, hi. I ain't putting my hand down though. <laughs> we gotta walk down and around to the quilt Good shop. Thing. You going shopping with us? And I'll show you the front door and then we'll stop recording. Because this is the sign that we kind of saw out on the street. So I'll show you this one. So you can see the real sign. I don't like petting on dogs. I don't know because I'm scared I'm going to get bit by all dogs. <laughs> So this is really nice. It's a nice metal sign. So let's go inside and see what they got. The last quilt shop, it was an antiques, quilts, and gifts. And they had quite a few things. It was three floors of stuff. We only did two floors. Um, saw a lot of antique quilts in that one. We also, what else did we see? We, they had all kinds of antiques, antique quilts. And then they had a lot of Stephanie's. That was Stephanie of uh, Fran Designs. Yeah. That was her mother's shop. And so we had a great time. Now, I didn't even know that when we went in. And Kevin told me when we got there, I forgot all about that. Yeah. But really cool shop. Yeah. Recommend it. So guys, we are at our next quilt destination. We just left the Rainbow Place. I can't remember all the names of these places. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every room in there. They had a lot of bright stuff. They had a lot of rainbow style quilts. They just had a lot of bright quilts, bright fabrics. I could have bought a lot of stuff up in there. But uh, we'll see 
um, what I get when I do the haul on the live video on July 31st. So I don't know if this video is going to go up later, but just giving you a reference to where the haul video will be. So talk to you all later. Oh no, I got to tell you that we're at the Brooklyn Hardware, which also has a fabric section, kind of like we have an area in Missouri in St. Clair. It has a Ace Hardware. Um, no, Ace Hardware. And uh, they have a fabric section, so it's pretty cool. Already looks really good. You can see where they've got the quilt from the shop hop up there. So we're gonna go in and see what they have to offer. Hey guys, we are back in the car. <laughs> Kevin's looking up the next shop. Hey. But I will have to say, that this is probably the first shop in Iowa. We have been in 21 shops by now. And this is the first one that we don't have to come back to. It's a very small part in the hardware store. I could have done some recording, but I just choose not chose not to. Don't know if they have cameras in there because there's nobody came up in that area to assist. So um, it's small, didn't have a whole lot of choices. They had some beautiful fabrics and things. Um, very small notion choices because it's so tiny. But the fabric is $12, and I just think when you're in a small town fabric um, shop in a hardware store that you could have the prices just a little bit more reasonable. So we didn't see anything here that we had to get. We just bought something just so I could get the passport stamped without saying we didn't buy anything. So we're going to move on to our next quilt shop. Leather. Hello, hello, quilters. We are now at Three Sisters Fabric in Montezuma. Montezuma. And um, nice storefront here. I'll show you the storefront glass. Sometimes we don't have those, so I don't get a chance to show them all. But this one has a nice display window. You have to lock the doors there. But they say that they do fashion and sewing, so that's why you see a lot of clothing here. So we don't actually see quilting, but I'm sure we're gonna find something here. So we'll see you when we come out. So we are coming up on this quilt shop here called the Crazy Redhead Quilter. Very nice place. Nice display windows. Right here. Patriotic stuff, very nice. Very nice. Oh, 
I left my mask. It's in my door, I think. Then inside the door, it's got keep calm and so on. So I just wanted to share that with you. Kevin's going back to the car for me because I left my mask. Got AccuQuil dying here. They've got pages out of the magazine displayed here. Oh, they got Kimberbell embellishments. I didn't know that. So we just left the crazy redhead quilt shop. Drove a few minutes and we're now at Fabrics and Fun quilt shop. And at the crazy redhead quilt shop, it was a good quilt shop as well. We, um, they had a lot of great things. Uh, they had AccuQuilt Go. They sold Handy Quilter and Baby Lock. Or was it Brother? Brother. Brother machines. So and it was, handy. and it was huge. But I bought some novelty stuff, trying to stay away from fabrics. They had a lot of bright stuff there as well. So let me show you the outside of fabrics and fun. Um, here is the sign up there, storefront. So. Oh it's my. in a mall. You have a yellow jacket nest up there. Look at that. Yellow jacket nest. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have stuff like that, but it's not that bad. Thank God. But this is their storefront, so we're going to go in. We are at Off the Rails Quilting, our next quilt stop. I can't remember if I recapped our last shop or not, but it was a great shop. Uh, fabrics panels. and fun. Had good panels. They had military panels in there. They were expensive. They were like a half your panels were $12.95. I thought that was very expensive. They were not um, digitally printed. I did buy a panel for my niece. I'm going to give to her for her in memory of her dad who was a Marine that passed away a few years ago, my brother. So that's the only reason I bought that, but it was $12.95. I thought that was really expensive, but other than that the shop was nice the owner is nice she was in the shop got to chat with people so now we're going into off the rails quilting so i think we got to recap our last shop it was a great shop it continued to grow as we went into the shop great stuff nice and bright i loved it they even had a section of reproductions not very big but it was a they had a shop. Uh, they had a section i found something that i had been looking for at the other 24 shops that they didn't have that we've been to or we can't <laughs> remember what number we're at at this point but we're now at quilter's cupboard i like this it should be called quilter's cottage i think it's just beautiful for that so we're going to go in and see what they have to offer hi guys we left the quilted cupboard and it was a really great shop it was small it looked like a little small house but when you went in it was like added on to and, and a piece was added on to the sides as well so it was a lot bigger than it appeared very nice fabric store they specialized in a lot of brights Kimberbell uh, they were baby lock dealers and they had lots of kits and things set up it was a great shop enjoyed it okay so now we're at woodside quilting and this is their actual storefront so you can get a chance to see that and i think this is 10 shops that we did today we had 17 before so we should be at um 27 so this is just awesome see you all later so hi everybody i just wanted to come and close out today we did 10 shops today so we're gonna be done for today it is actually 4 56 p.m the shop we're at now actually closed at 5 30 so we could have stayed in here longer but we're done um we're gonna find somewhere to stay i guess um let's see this shop was a good shop lots and lots of different patterns not many books but they have lots and lots of patterns we saw i saw patterns that i had seen at other shops uh throughout iowa they had a lot of those here so it was a pretty interesting day so we're gonna close today out and we'll come back with day four tomorrow bye everybody <laughs> definitely get that blue bag what's in there blue bag regular you know that Hi! <laughs>
I know you weren't recording. That. It is recording. What? That was. I had just cut it on and you start. like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.